Hi, Nick here, and in today's video, we are talking about the four blockers which stop people actually creating video. Crazy but true. Stay tuned. Yes, today we're talking about the four main blockers that stop people creating video. It is crazy, but it is true. We did some research, and we'll talk about that in this quick video. A couple of things to mention, though. Please do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. You'll get notified every Thursday when we post new content. If you're interested in affiliate marketing, video marketing, editing, anything like that, hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss it. Hi, like most business owners, you know that video is the way to go. However, there are certain things that block you or stop you from creating. And one of them, we had a poll, we know these things, is you lack technical expertise. We can solve that for you. It's not difficult. Although I remember when I first started, I found it massively difficult. There are a few little things. We are filming right now on a simple iPhone 6S Plus. We can film in 4K. We don't really need any more than that for our purposes. We are also using a tripod, so we're keeping it rock solid. And you can, you can see there's no movement at all. Lighting is something that often people worry about. We have big diffused lights, and sometimes we have the backlights, because all we want to do is remove the shadow. And we want diffused light. And as you can see, today I'm actually filming outside, because the best diffused light is, of course, sunlight. Just remember, you need the sun in front of you, otherwise you'll have terrible shadow and people won't be able to see your lovely face. Uh, particularly when we're filming outside, very important is we need audio. Today we've just got a little clip-on mic, sometimes we use the big blue Yeti mic, and sometimes we use the little dead cat for outside when it's windy. Another blocker to your creating video is actually knowing what to say. It's content, having structured content and actually then getting it out. The great news is there are templates that we can use that get our message across really well. It doesn't matter whether it's a customer testimonial, it could be a product or service review, it could be a frequently asked questions, meet the team, a little bit about us. There are many different templates we can use that help you create content and get your messaging bang on point with what most people do forget at the end, a call to action. Another of the big four blockers is your ability to edit. Now, I'll be totally honest with you, when I first saw iMovie, I had no idea what to do at all. It scared the pants off me and it stopped me from creating video for several years. And it's only in the last four or five years that I actually got to grips with it. It's easy. Once you understand, and once you've got someone that just shows you some of the basics, you can make really effective video and you can do great editing. If you make a mistake or a cough, you can edit it out. There's little tips and techniques that we use to make the video look seamless and professional. And iMovie is a free app on your Mac. You can also have Windows Movie Maker, there's Filmora. So there's not just the free software that comes with your Mac or your Windows device that you can use. There's others as well. And some very, very cost effective, quite cheap editing tools like Camtasia, ScreenFlow. But if you want to go a little bit up forwards than that, of course, then you've got your Adobe as well. Yes, they can look a bit daunting when you first open them, but once you get a few under your belt, you'll know a few tips and tricks, and these are easily teachable, then you'll be knocking out videos as if there's no tomorrow. The fourth great blocker to creating video is having confidence in front of the camera. Now, I know what you're thinking, and most people think, oh, I hate the way I look, I hate the way I sound. Perfectly good reasons for that. Don't worry, the biggest problem people have is they're not confident in front of the camera. The reason for that actually is because you don't know what you're going to say. You think you're going to run out of content, you're going to lose your place, and that's totally natural. The best way to deal with confidence in front of the camera is to have a structure so you know what you're going to be saying. You know you're not going to trip over your words. And even if you do trip over your words, of course, you can edit them out. We covered that in a different video. But the more you do it, the more confident you will become. It becomes easier. It's a bit like riding a bike, learning to walk. Did it come easily? No. Was it hard? Absolutely. Did you stop? No, you didn't. You carried on until you got it right. And that is all it takes. And one of the best ways of doing that, I found, was to join a video challenge. So just make a video every day for 90 days. You'll be amazed. Yes, you sound and you'll look really awful to begin with. You will hate it. But by the end of the 90 days, it'll be like water off a duck's back. And it'll improve your public speaking too, which has got to be a good thing for a business owner, right? 